I'm talking to you today from Portland, Oregon, which has um, uh, been a JDAI site now for almost two decades and has a very, very lengthy history of innovations. For example, um, uh, in Portland, uh, Portland was a, a site where the first uh, reception center was established as a uh, drop-off locale for police who had picked up uh, youth who were not detainable by law, um, uh, but who were in fact either creating public safety risks or uh, public uh, nuisances and the collaboration between the juvenile court and the juvenile probation agency and the police department made it possible to establish a social service center where police officers could take these youth that social service center would work to reunite kids with family or to provide interim services as necessary. And the most important thing I, I, I suspect, aside from the fact that these kids were not being brought unnecessarily and inappropriately to detention, was that we got the cops back on patrol quickly. Mm -hmm. And they didn't have to play babysitters to the cops. And they knew that the kids and their needs would be attended to in a responsible and time and timely manner. Another very simple innovation here in um, uh, uh, Multnomah County had to do with how probation violations were handled. When Multnomah first began to do detention reform, about 40% of its average daily population in secure detention were kids who were violating a probation, primarily uh, rule violations. And um, uh, what we noticed were a number of odd patterns. For example, whether you would detain for violating probation seemed to depend more on who your probation officer was than on the seriousness of your um, violation or the seriousness of the risks you pose to public safety. And so what folks in Multnomah County did was to construct a structured approach to responding to probation violations as a function of the seriousness of the violation and the seriousness of the risk that the child posed. And a, a system, by the way, that not only enhanced the range of options available to probation staff, but precluded them from uh, using detention until they had, in fact, tried all the other options that were available to them.